of the Browns and the Steelers this weekend, man. Huge rivalry. Everyone knows that. But let's start with Sunday, bro. Who saw Tua in the comeback against the Ravens? What do we think about that guy? I don't think nobody saw that coming. Uh, oh, I did. I did. I I, I told you about Miami earlier. The comeback? On. I don't think nobody saw the comeback coming, bro. Get real, man. The way the way they were getting handled early on in that game and the way Lamar was looking, uh, I don't think nobody saw what happened with, with them boys letting them run them down like that. So, uh, yeah, I, I haven't seen the Ravens let that happen to them in a long time. So, I don't, if you said you saw that coming, man, you a psychic, dog. I ain't gonna lie on that one. <laughs> you no, know, I def I, I didn't see twenty eight points coming in the fourth quarter. That was yeah, that, that's, that's crazy. I I, t- I tell you what, <laughs> I, I know the Ravens they play a lot of man to man defense. <laughs> they got two guys. They got two guys out of Miami and make you blow your motor. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, the Ravens did have two guys with hamstring issues. <laughs> that was that was stubborn as their team because after they cut it to 14, it's just all right, let's just zone, run zone and get back out, get out of here safely. Okay, guys. The boys <laughs> stuck with man. They say, you know what? Hey. Y'all gonna learn today. <laughs> hey man, they ain't believe it, man. But hey, my Miami got something going on. Uh they Tua definitely got to, he got to get some more ass. He got, he got, he got, he need to do some more lower body because Tyreek was waiting on a few of those balls, man. From what I seen on the highlights, I didn't see the game, but from what I seen on the highlights. So uh, if he can start hitting those guys in stride, man, I know, I don't know that that will happen this year, but in the near future, he start hitting those guys in stride, man. He, he, he can get real ugly. He can be more than 28 uh, points in a quarter for those guys, man. Yeah, man. Two of them got something special going on. Tyreek Hill got Jalen Waddle. Man, probably the most ex- impressive and explosive offense in the league right now. Would you would you compare them? Who you still Chiefs? No, bro, Chiefs stop still? It. bro stop Buffalo. It. Stop it. Did no, did you stop it? You think stop Buffalo, it. you think mm-hmm. Buffalo has the most explosive offense in the they league? They can't right be now? stopped. Listen, man, that game, man, Miami and um Baltimore, man, that game was pretty much nipped in the bud, man. Look at both of those two touchdowns with Tyreek Hill at the end. They had him in check at first. He had his, he had his um his cramping issues and all that the whole game. Waddle, he was doing his deal. He was doing his deal early in the game. Tool was held in check. I'm not a believer in Tool. Yes, I still believe that. And oh my right God. now, Tool is a product of them two receivers right now. Uh, he they created the same thing Bama had right now when he was back at Bama. He need that to be successful. And the thing is, Tyreek Hill, he got loose on them last two, them last two tugs. Whenever you're gonna ever see the fastest man in the NFL, probably in the world, be that wide open. Them blown coverages, man. It happens God. often. No, no, yeah. no. BS. Look, that game was um was nipped in the bud. It was a fluke, huh, Ken? Talk to me. How bro. do you not how, how, how do you, you not believe in the kid? How do you not believe in the kid too? No, I believe, and look, look, I believe. Because they, they were down 35 14. No, I, I feel that this is a different tool. I don't feel like this is the same tool that's in Alabama. So that's my whole deal. I think the injuries and everything, he need, he need that extra help with the receivers and the wide out, that supporting cast to help him. It's the NFL, baby. We need it. Absolutely. It's the NFL. But look at here. Like I said, man, low, if I knew he was going to preach. I would have worn my suit and attend church. <laughs> so, so, all right. So, <laughs> go ahead, Smooth. <laughs> no, I ain't got nothing to say, man. I mean, I'm what's going on there? To it, man. I'm not a believer to it at all, man. It's not. Uh, from what I've seen, man, them boys is running wide open. You mm. know what I'm saying? So, I'm just, I'm just not a believer. And from what I, from what I've heard, my cousin is a huge fan of the game. He was telling me that they really lost the game coaching. Uh, I think Baltimore had went for it on a fourth and one, didn't get it, should have punted it, and you know, the game would have been over. And they were still trying to air it out. They should just be running the ball to kill the clock. Yes. So I think a lot of that is on hardball, man, and, and yeah. they just happen to make a play or two, and that's what you got in, in them boys, man. Two plays, you can be right back in the game. I, I'm gonna say this though, they finna get punished this week. And then we're going to see if y'all got that same tune uh, come Monday. 
Who finna get punished? I take Miami beating Buffalo. They finna get punished. Oh, they finna get punished. Punish. He finna take Miami and Buffalo. Uh, I want to throw this stat out. Buffalo, or not Buffalo. Josh Allen has never lost to Miami. <laughs> Punish him. And Bud Miller is on a mission. Hey, Punish two of my own defense. <laughs> I never seen. I never seen one defense. Um, one defensive player make that much of an impact overnight with the whole team, as in both whole team. Did. And it's crazy. The whole team. Two, and, two are gonna need another hip replacement come man. Monday. Lo, Lo been waiting on this. Man, look here, man. The thing is, Von Miller's on the outside. I understand if he was in an uh, interior lineman like Donald that can make more of a pressure. I can see that happen. But, man, the dude, man, and he, the way he affect the whole defense is crazy. Again, I got Miami. You heard it here first. <laughs> Miami will upset the Bills. They're a plus 210 underdog. Oh, Watch scared. out, guys. Hey, look, though, no, seriously. What 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 we think, man, with, with, with Baltimore, with the way that Lamar – I mean, we know Lamar is carrying this team on his back, bro. He has no – like, right now, it's, it's, it's the Lamar show. And you see how spectacular he is. I think he, he tied or broke uh, Vic's record last week. Um, Any thoughts there, comments on what the Ravens should do for Lamar? I, I, I tell you what they should do. They should pay him. That's what they should do. That's exactly what they should do. I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. I hadn't seen no breaking news pop on my phone that say Lamar Jackson has signed his contract. So they need to pay the guy. And I'm going to leave it at that. If they're not going to get him no help, they need to pay him. Because uh, cause, cause, no is he a free agent after this season? If they no, don't damn ifs. no damn ifs. Oh, no. If I'm Lamar at this point, yeah. after that yeah, game. Yeah, oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's that's something they can do. But but like fifty million, Like after that game, that should show that they have nothing else. Like either I'm telling them y'all better call AB. If if I'm him and they franchise me, I I sit out the rest of the year. I won't play another snap. (laughs) Man, I will stop playing. Look, y'all may call it bad on me right now. I stop playing right now. I, mean, I was thinking that too. Kid. I made that my game. point. And oh, wait, if I don't, if they don't think I made my point, okay, then just try it without me. But I tell you this, though, fellas. Um, oh, go ahead, brother. Yeah, if he, I was just saying, you saying pay him, bro. If he goes down with an injury, it's it's a, like a serious injury. That's why I'm with Kent. I'm out. I'm 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 packing my shit up and I'm going to Miami, back home to my mom's mm-hmm. house. Until they send somebody that over the chick. Some reason, man, my back getting a little tight. My hamstring hurting or something. You know what I mean? I don't know what I did, man. Hey, he ain't I'll pull even a bit. Look at here, man. Look at here. It's about money. At the end of the day, it's the NFL. I understand it's college. You're trying to get that. It's about money. Bill, you what you said it right. Pay the man. That's it. But I do think he got a little help, though. Just a little. But not, not as much as the other quarterback. Hey, Lo. Hey, Rod. You, you think you think A. Rod got enough to compete this year? <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie. The, uh, to be honest, the defense little lights out. Um, they just switched it around a little bit. I just feel, I, only concern I have is A. Rod trusting them young guys to make mistakes and allowing them to. Uh, he got to let his reputation go up, and it's sad that everybody knows it. You drop a ball, you might not see it again come your way. Uh, if he get over that though, I think they got a shot. Like the defense is nasty, man. Like uh, the the front office, which has always been there, they, they they similar to the Ravens front office. The picks they made um, is showing. Like their number seven on defense, legit. He he legit. Uh, yeah, yeah, like I said, the defense. I, I I didn't expect them to be as good as they showed up to be. Even in the first mm-hmm. game, they played played well. Uh, so yeah, I think they got enough. If a Rod. Stays them, you know. So trust those guys enough to to get developed. I think them having Randall in that receiver room helps a lot. Um, um. So yeah, if, if they lean on the running backs for now, um, and, and continue to build up those receivers, I think they got a, a shot to be a contender. Yeah, you say they played well, but Justin Jefferson had a day against those guys. Jair <laughs> didn't. Jair didn't. Jair didn't travel with them. We 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 got Jair as one of those top two cornerbacks. He didn't travel. And try to shut down Jefferson. So, you know, what like, like do do we take him out of that? 
Smooth, I know you made a comment with Jalen Ramsey got dogged by Diggs. He was following him around. Jair didn't follow him around. So do we take him out of that top tier cornerback slot because he didn't travel? Well, well, it's, it's, a, it's a difference there because the, the Packers secondary is Stokes supposed to be supposed to be semi elite too. He ain't Jair. He ain't he ain't played he, he enough not, ball. But he, he ain't played he, enough ball to be yeah, you right. But, but I'm, Jair. I'm just I'm just saying that's how you know what I'm saying. And the reason I'm I, I, I'm hesitant as my dog, but the the way now I'm gonna say this too. Now Slade just shut him down. There you go. I was waiting till you get to but, the but he but he he understood what his leverage was too though. He took on the team. What that mean? Play defense. That's part of. But the- but I'm just saying though, like like he, he you know what I'm saying? He he ain't it ain't no. like he was on the island, bro. He was. No, he wasn't. <laughs> yes, bro, he nobody. Had, he had he had nobody help. Nobody really on is. Hell on, like, you got to No, nah, bro. Come no. on, come on, bro. What's that? He had help, bro. Go go watch the tape, man. You, you, you the hey, king of this I tell you what. Guys. No, no, no. I'm giving it to him, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Green Bay don't play like that. On that post route, Slay was it was it was it was uh he was on the island, man, and he sat and he sat inside on that post route. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, shoulder that's supposed to be a pick. Yeah, I, I think I think um I mean it was I think they had a good game plan coming into it, man. To, to yeah, they did. Question: A Rod cannot compete with the Bucks with what he has right now. It, it, it's gonna get ugly. Yeah, um, <laughs> Green Bay, man. This, if it, it's level to this, fellas. Like, being honest, what you mean by compete? <laughs> do he got enough to compete to win a Super Bowl? No. But do he got enough to make some look a little – just make some shake a little bit? Yeah. But Super Bowl, that's what Aaron Rodgers playing for, so I'm going to say no. Nah. And, and if he get wiped by the ball, but don't act like that. That defense is next level. Oh, no, no, no. That defense. It is, it is, but that's what you get for being selfish, too. So uh, you, you deserve everything that's yeah. coming for you. Yeah, I, I don't take, yeah. yeah Smooth, yeah. man. What's, what's your take? Being, what you, being what around you, the you locker room. Being around the locker room, knowing what type of guy Rodgers is, man. We we see the frustration on his face often. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. He had fun last week, so stop. Do we think, do we think he can, um. You know, pull the offense together. I, I think he has enough, uh, has what it takes around him. Like he's a great quarterback. I think he got enough weapons. One of the best running backs in the league. Lazard is a dog. Can, and can, Sammy bald. If he Sammy, Sammy is is definitely. I think Rogers and Sammy um, are great for each other right now. Uh, what, what's your thought? What's your thoughts, Ryan? Packers missed a window, bro. They missed Thank a you. window. Thank you, Smooth. All right, picks for this week: Green Bay versus Bucks. Buccaneers. Where is where is it? Don't don't matter. It could be it could be in the parking lot. Buccaneers. <laughs> Bucks, yeah, Bucks. <laughs> I'm gonna pull a smooth number this time, man. Got to go with my dog, man. Got to go with the heart on this one, man. Um, I'm gonna go with the with, with A Rod. Want to just beat Brady uh, on this one, so uh, hopefully. Hopefully Todd chill out, you know what I'm saying? All them blitzes and shit, you know what I'm saying? Just calm down, down there, little homie. Uh, just let it be a fair fight. I'm going to go A-Rod on this one. Todd, Todd going to have A-Rod so frustrated and pissed with them boys. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> hey, they go both ways, nigga, because cause Todd <laughs> don't know how. <laughs> so we going to see Big hey, yeah, big, big Mike finna get shut down. He ain't finna do nothing. Julio on the stretch already. Mike's is mm-hmm. not playing. That's right. That's right. That's right. He said, yeah. Uh, yeah, they did. That's right. They ain't got no receivers. Perriman. Perriman. Perriman goes off. Perriman has a day. You nah. crazy. Nah. I'm going <laughs> to go with Green Bay. The only reason why I'm going with Green Bay is the fact that Temple ain't got nobody right now. When I'm to my wide outs wise, they just signed Cole Beasley because of, um, Mike Evans not playing. Julio Jones is hurt right now. Um, Godwin is out right now. Look, the only person they really got is Brait, um, Cameron Brait, and um, they just signed Cole Beasley, little Scotty Miller. Um, I think there's gonna be a big Leonard Fournette game kind of screen, dunk it off or whatever, get it out of time, break the hands yeah. quick. But the, the deal is, is that defense gonna show oh. like they normally is if they if they do. It's going to be a long day for Aaron Rodgers. They may end up pulling out probably about three points. But my deal is, man, the way that defense be playing, man, they may end up putting Aaron Rodgers out, man. 
But I hey, what Kyle Rudolph at? I thought the Bucks got him too. He ain't, why he ain't, I ain't seen him. Who? I think Kyle Rudolph, the tight end. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I can't remember. Maybe he, might, he remember maybe he don't like Rodgers, maybe he don't like Aaron Rodgers. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But yeah, they, they really ain't got nobody though right now. Hey, he don't. Cole, Cole Beasley is perfect for Tom Brady. Oh man, hey, <laughs> you took the words out of my mouth, Bill. I mean, I think I think I think Tom is 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 excited for this opportunity. Trust me, I think that. We've seen over his career, it don't matter. I, I can go out there and play receiver right now for Tom. Yes, um, sir. And we can have some success and find some success. A coach on the field. But we know Rodgers is the same thing. I think, I think honestly, I think Green Bay has what it takes this week. Um, but fully loaded teams, man, the Bucks. I think, destroy Green Bay. Um, but I, I take Green Bay this week because I don't think – I don't think uh, Bucks going to have enough to, to – to, uh, Firepower to score with Green Bay. They scored a lot against Minnesota, didn't they? Anyway, 49ers Broncos. <laughs> moving along. 49ers Broncos. That's tough. Uh, I feel like the Broncos' backs are already against the wall. I know it's week three, but that division being how it is, um, it hasn't been a, a great start. Uh, and they could go. They, you could kind of say the same thing for uh, San Fran, although they're getting their quarterback back in a sense. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I'm I'm a, I'm a, uh, who at home on this? Uh, let's see, the Broncos are home. I'm a, I'm gonna go with the Broncos, man. If they if they allow keep the run game going, allow Russell to feed off the play action, I think they they uh, come out. I don't see. I don't know what, what San Fran going to do offensively um, if they can't get the run game going. Because uh, if they can't get the run game going, I, I, I have full faith in uh, Randy Gregory, uh, Chubb, them boys getting pressure, and, the, and, the, and them boys on the back end. So it's going to be tough. Uh, De I don't think Debo going to be enough. Debo Sammy. I'm going 49 The spread is one and a half. I don't think Russell and the Broncos have kind of worked their kinks out just yet. Uh, like you said, they get Garoppolo back. He, he knows how to win in San Francisco. Shanahan gets back to calling his plays how he wants, spreading it out, dinking and dunking, taking 49ers by TD. Yeah, I'm going to roll with the 49ers, too, off the, same, off the strength of the same thing, man. I don't think the uh, Broncos have really, really worked out everything. Kink-wise, man, them guys, a lot of them guys didn't play in the preseason. And they got a rookie head coach, man, who's figuring it all out as well, so. Uh, was third game, uh, and I just don't think they're ready, man. Uh, I don't know if you watched the game last week with the 49ers, but once Trey Lance got hurt, you know, uh, you know, Amen pra praised him, hope he has a speedy recovery, but it seemed like the team had a little jolt once Garoppolo came back in, man, uh, like some familiarity. So uh, I'm going to roll with the 49ers uh, by, by a touchdown as well. Yeah, I'm riding with the Niners, man. Um, I'm riding with the Niners. Jimmy Garoppolo bring a different – a different feel towards that team, man. I don't know what it is. Hey, I know that the coaching staff and that everybody are not really too high on Jimmy, you know, because of the fact that they tried to replace him that quick. But my deal is the Broncos. The Broncos with that first time head coach, man. It it hasn't been looking good, man. And everything that that's been going wrong has been coaching issues, coaching this, coaching that, just guys not being ready, being um, hurry up snaps, fumble snaps that it's not being, they're not being synced. I don't know if they prep it or they practice it or what. But the thing is, man, Broncos got all the talent in the world. They're the most talented team. But I think what they're lacking is the coach. And I'm going to go with San Fran. And they're going to establish the run. So I'm with the 49ers. Man, if this was a, if everybody was healthy, I would take the Broncos. I believe in Russ, what he has behind the center. But we got uh, Jerry mm -hmm. Judy not playing. Um, he got hurt last week. And then defensively, you got a lot of question marks. Um, I know Pat Sertain didn't practice. Uh, a few other guys on the D-line didn't practice as well. So I'm taking the 49ers, not a, not a team you want to be banged up going against just because of the style of play. They want to run the ball downhill, Debo, um, and kind of pound game. Uh, I don't know if Kittle's coming back, but I think uh, 
Garoppolo and Kittle could be dangerous um, when they when they get in sync. So I'm going 49ers as well, San Fran to pull it off um, by a touchdown. Uh, Dallas. Dallas can pull off another one. Dallas, New York this week. Huge matchup. Mm. Mm. Man, I'm going to say uh, the, the spread is a point. And, uh, <clears throat> I I, just, I think uh I think what you're seeing the Cowboys do to the Bengals the Bengals offensive line is terrible. I think uh, the preparation and the game plan for the Cowboys was good. Kellen Moore did a good job with Cooper Rush, uh, putting him in a, in a nice situation managing the game. I think Zeke looked good. Uh, with all that being said, <laughs> I'm going with the Giants, man. I think they got something going on. I like I like the energy that they have. Uh, I like Saquon and his edge that he's bringing back uh, to the game with all the junk they talking about him. So I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to uh, the Giants by three, man. The G man mm-hmm. got the Giants by three. Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, Dallas uh, and not the, the like you said the Bengals O line. Yes, it's terrible, but again. Um, I feel like Dallas O line showed they ass uh, last week, um, both from a pass protecting perspective and damn sure running run, run block. Uh, them boys came out there with an edge, um, something to prove. Um, and and if they do that again, I think that two headed monster behind that O line blocking like that, uh, I think that creates a, a major problem. Uh, the, that's the thing that Kellen Moore should have been doing. I know you you know you got Dak, he top quarterback, whatever, but. Don't forget what, you know, Dallas is and always have been, even back to championship years. It's a balanced team. It's not going – you're not going to win a championship being the past every team, especially when you got two horses. Feed them. And then, you know, let the past game come off of that. So, if Kellen Moore allow, you know, you know what I'm saying, those boys to to eat and, and, and show confidence in that old line, I think they'll come out and dominate um, the Giants from a, from a run game perspective. And then Cooper Rush, as long as they don't turn the ball over, I think they'll – uh, come out with the win, and I, I think the Cowboys still feel like this is their division. Um, the Eagles gonna have to come take it. Um, they damn sure ain't gonna let it go to the time. Yeah, hey man, the piggyback, man, piggyback off of a low set, man. I'm gonna take the Cowboys as well, uh, simply off the fact that I think that um, they play into what they what they are once that you know that went down there, running football team there. Like you said, he had two. Uh, headed monster back there, and I think they leaned more on that. Um, so I just, I just think that that, that Cooper Rush is, is just managing the game. It's just doing enough. Um, they rely on the pass rush and the defense along with their rushing game, man. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the Cowboys. Yeah, as much as I hate to do that, I take the Cowboys also. Um, I think, bro, honestly, with I hate that went down, but I think that saves Kellen, bro. I think he gets a lot of praise. That's uh, I don't really think he all that. But I think with that going down, that saves him from himself of wanting to call like a lot of the stuff that he would call with Dak in the game to save him. Um, man, I think talent-wise, Dallas has too much defensively um, for the Giants. I know they got Saquon, but receiving core, you got Shepard out there. Um I just, I just don't see it. I think the Giants going to try to establish the run game. Dallas love that. They want to play down here. They want you to try to run the ball with the linebacker cores they have. Um, small guys, small guys. Man, but when you look at – you got what? Right. You got Anthony Barr. I think Barr is a physical linebacker. I think inside you got – what's his name? Uh, Vanderish. Vanderish. Yeah. Tough, tough as nails. Reminds me a lot of Sean Lee. Um <sighs> D Law is the best run playing DN in the league. So, so man, I, I think I think um Cowboys too much right right now. Um and I think they'll be hot for a few weeks until they run into some real competition. When they when they see the Eagles, when they see I, I don't even think they want to run into Washington right now with, with what they got cooking up. It, I mean, I think it's a tough league, bro, right now. Dallas, they in for it in a few weeks, but um, I take I take Dallas upsetting or beating the Giants. Lord have mercy on all y'all, all y'all guys. So man, I guess 
I guess Low gave T his suit because T preaching. I don't know what y'all got going on, man. Fellas, I'm telling you this. Cincinnati had an awful O-line. They played an awful game. Y'all keep on bragging on Dallas like they hitting on something right now. That gone. All their hopes are gone. Look, I understand all the mess that y'all got going on about Cooper Rush and everything. Y'all talking about them establishing the run. They don't got a running a running team with Dak or without Dak. Because first of all, them two, court, them two running backs, they really ain't hitting on that. They went against the Cincinnati Bengals. Bengals, their defense pit, and they got hot at the end of the year last year. But everybody know what Cincinnati did. They was outscoring everyone. Only they didn't have number what? Probably one sack. And the thing is, Dallas O-line ain't, ain't even all that, being oh. honest. And Trey Hendricks is the only defensive end that you have. And he ain't been the same since he hurt his neck. And that was the guy that came from the Saints. And who in the um, secondary are you worried about from the Cincinnati Bengals? So let's be honest, man. When you got the New York Giants, they're going to come in, and their defense actually did good last year, and they've been doing good all year. Every game been tight this year, for one thing. And then with the offensive weapons that the Giants got, true enough, they got Michael Parsons. He's all world. But guess what, though? He can only do so much. If they only got to score a couple times, man, Dallas ain't going to put up enough, a lot of points on the Giants defense. Giants got a legit defense, and they play hard, and they're hey, they going to get after the quarterback. Oh, man. Let, me, let me say this real quick before we, we go back to the, the Buccaneers got a good old line, right? No, they um they old line are hurt right now. No, I'm talking about game one, my brother. Old line was hurt. Yeah, Michael, 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 got, Michael, was hurt, Michael got the tone how many times? Michael gonna get to everybody in the league, but that's what so I'm what you so what you talking no, about? No, no, I'm telling you this, and they still lost because they they offense couldn't do nothing. We know, they like, this one. Yeah, but he, he he said he said Dallas can't run the ball. Zeke got the ball only ten times that game. Five yards a pop, by the way. You so brought that game. Oh, you the ball. That game. Y'all got you y'all got embarrassed game. the first game. Stop that. Stop that. Nineteen to three. Yes. All right, let's cool them off. Let's cool them off. Thursday night football. We got a minute and a half, 15 15 second take. Pittsburgh um, and the Browns. Hey, and Fo, you cap. You say you're going to bet against Dallas every game this year. You cap. Uh, I'm going Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh bounce back. They beat the Browns this week. Browns. That's a tough one, though. It's really a toss up. If if White was there, it'd be easy. Uh, but I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Pittsburgh defense over. Uh, Brissett playing good, man. He's solid. I think he, he can win the game. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Pittsburgh creating some type of chaos for him uh, enough to pull off the win. So I'm gonna go with Pittsburgh. Watson not playing this easy, man. Pittsburgh easy. <laughs> I'm taking the Steelers anyways, man. Head coach is that guy. He wore black forces. I'll go with any coach that wears black forces any day of the week. Um, huge um, rival game. I think Cooper, Amari is, is, is here to play, but I don't think they're going to have enough, man. I think Pittsburgh going to put up big numbers, big numbers. Harris uh, with Johnson, Claypool. I want to see Claypool get some touches running the ball, but definitely take a Pittsburgh. Running the ball? Oh, yeah, he's, get, he's getting touches now. They're they using him. They're using him like Debo now. Hey, no, t- you, tune in. <laughs> tune no, I got in. You. I got you, let's get it. Let's get excited, fellas. Excited, <laughs> man. I got the special <laughs> for you, Smooth. Get you some rest, dog. You look.